Greetings and welcome to the commentary guided introduction of the Everspace 2 April update. My name is Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games. I'm excited to reveal a slew of new content to the game in our healthy Contracts Hinterlands content drop and a couple teasers to what's coming next. Also, we are not issuing a save wipe at this time, though we still encourage starting from scratch so as to ensure all systems are working as intended from the ground up, and not just from where you left off before the update. Aside from new assets being created and an assortment of quality of life features now implemented, a bit of work has also gone into the already active visuals to help polish them off and provide a crisp, smooth gameplay experience all around. The Cyclops Bomber class joins the playable ship roster. This new barraging beast brings with it a new way to utilize your secondary weapons. Instead of using ammunition, the bomber fires missiles by merely consuming energy. Here, the bomber disables the nearby threat with an all-new EMP missile and simply waits out their time for destruction. There have been a few item additions and several updates to familiar tools, so keep your eyes peeled, pilot. With more loot also comes more control over your inventory. Equipment can now be marked for batch actions, so you can store, destroy, or salvage multiple items quickly and efficiently. And if you have some items selected that can't be salvaged or alternatively destroyed, the batch action only applies to the equipment that can take that action, so you can't screw it up. The Devious Bloodstar Outlaw faction has begun mobilizing in several regions within the Cedo system. Bloodstar prospectors and overseers engage with new weaponry with hit and run tactics, forcing you to close the gap and chase them down. If you do so, these nefarious foes could drop faction based gear, which is designed to synergize quite nicely with in faction equipment. Their energy core, the Catalyst, greatly increases the energy output of all Bloodstar weapons ideal for aggressive flybys. Each new ship brings with it a powerful ultimate, and the bombers is the ARC-9000. Even though Shiva systems discontinued this powerful warhead after the war, the bomber's frame is the perfect candidate to utilize this deadly reconstituted technology. All right, let's stop at this ship dealer to take a closer look at the bomber. Just like the gunship, the bomber is within the heavyweight category. However, the bomber trades a primary weapon slot for an extra secondary slot. Its area of expertise grants it hull regeneration the more hull damage you dish out. A wide wingspan means narrow passageways may be cumbersome, but its modest hole increase in handling over the gunship means you can buff out those scratches later. Ship customization gives you more control than ever before to mix and match your style the way you see fit. Choose between a multitude of main colors that can be adjusted in reflection and roughness, paired with emissive lights and selectable insignias that you can also tweak to your liking. Even more options will appear in the future, including for your cockpit and wings. We not only want you to feel good blasting your foes, we want you to look good doing it. Be sure to share your screenshots with us. We love seeing what you come up with. Locations like this massive cave structure and missions like this one tasking you to find your way out have been added to further the storyline within the Union system, designed to keep you on your toes and test your skills from sharpshooting to corridor chasing. 
It's not common to come across organic alien life, but when you do, they're generally not happy to see you. Veterans of Everspace may recognize the return of Elec, a friendly and overly talkative companion who does a great job keeping a spirited attitude. New missions mean new challenges, and there's a lot more to Everspace 2 than just pointing and shooting. Chasing down high-profile targets sets the wheels in motion during the main campaign. And hey, if you like the way your skills are being tested in these little ventures, You'll be pleased to note that a future update will be adding to the optional job boards an assortment of oddities and opportunities to test your progress. During your hunt through both Cedo and Union, you may notice a couple of new tweaked combat rules. Even though the bomber changes the ammunition of missiles to energy, they now require a short lock-on duration before the projectile tracks it down. Fire too early and the missile is wasted. Cut your vision and the lock is lost. But find that sweet spot and you'll be a happy blaster. This outlaw sniper makes for an easy lock, but the quickness of the outlaw drone doesn't make it as ideal now that it requires that lock-on sequence. In this speed-laden sequence, we have another new rule that comes up. Unlimited boosting. Okay, that might sound underwhelming, but this becomes a distinctly important tool to challenge the player with their skill focused entirely around one's control over their spacecraft. Instead of worrying about your damage output, now you need to stay your course and focus on your defensive capabilities. Get distracted and you will fall behind. Stay on your toes, else you might look like an idiot and ram into an asteroid in a development preview video. <clears throat> can't gain a solid control of your maneuverability, or 
if you focus way too much on destroying all the turrets or the bad guys along your chase, you are going to fail this mission and the target will escape. But at least we updated our save system to help get right back where you left off. Now, I've got a question for you. Have you visited the Forlorn Vale site in Union yet? This planetside location harbors a mysterious excavation site, revealing an underground ancient structure. Now, if you're not familiar with this race, they were first introduced in Everspace 1 that, when met for the first time, probably brought the player's run to a swift end. These beings, which are somehow glorified by the Okar, by the way, should probably be left alone. Now, I know there are curious explorers out there, and you'll be pleased to know that there's a lot more you can poke about once you reach a certain part of the story. As mentioned earlier in this video, we will be updating the job boards in the future with an assortment of new tasks and requirements. So here's another taste of what we have in store through the main mission chain. Unlike other jobs where you get to play more of a hero role, taking out targets or supplying those in need, here you're tasked to carry a very volatile substance through Smuggler's Wheel. And unless you want to explode in a fiery ball of death, you need to take a couple careful pit stops along the way to restabilize the goods and ensure they reach your destination safely. It's easy to think you can take these foes in a fair fight, and in normal circumstances, that's probably likely. But with this material on board, you best duck and cover and find an optimal path through these outlaw-rich environments. You may even see the policing Okar show up from time to time here too. It seems a hot spot for shady transports. take a moment to appreciate this brand new Union specific travel music. Enemies have been ramped up in this latest update too, and outlaw destroyers aren't the pushovers they used to be. This one is holding its ground even two levels lower than the plane. It capitalizes on a new missile salvo attack and moves about to keep its weak points out of sight. The level cap has been raised to 15, which opens the doors for unlocking higher tier equipment with more unique modifiers, yes, but also new player perks. This selection provides new aggressive options for your weaponry. If you find yourself with maximum shields more often than not, excessive force will provide a straight damage increase so long as you keep those shields fully charged. Crit Happens rolls the dice by granting a chance your critical hits become splash damage. And finally, Relentless gives a straight bonus to weapon energy capacity, letting them fire for longer durations, simply by installing Warfare-specific devices. There are plenty of other additions to the game that aren't included in this video, so I highly encourage you to check out our patch notes. In the meantime, I'll be cruising about in this undiscovered yet familiar space that's now in the works for our summer update. Hey, you've been awesome seeing this video through to the very end. I'm Eric Schrader, don't stop being awesome, and we'll have a lot more to talk about real soon. Toodles!